President Roosevelt described the attack on Pearl Harbor as a date which will live in infamy. Well, for our generation, my generation, the terrorist attack on September 11, 2001 is our date. I vividly remember sitting at my temporary business location that morning in disbelief. I found myself yelling at the TV for the people to run, begging the first responders to get out. I felt sick to my stomach, and nothing mattered more to me than those heroes I was watching on TV. This hill is a living display of our heroism, which will fly as a temporary patriotic tribute to the strengths and the, uni and the unity of Americans and commemorates the 10 year anniversary of all those innocent people who died September 11th, 2001. This is our healing field. God bless America. It's very amazing for me. It started out with my realizing that the field is covered with these green poles and each one is going to have a flag representing one of those people who gave their lives on that day. It's an amazing experience. Uh, it's an honor to be here. It's definitely an honor to remember all those firefighters, EMTs, police officers, everyone who was involved in trying to rescue the victims of 911. The power of what happened then, the strength is still there. I remember how stunning it was. I was working with a friend uh, harvesting some crops. We heard on the radio that a plane had hit the towers and then we got into his house just in time to see the last tower fall. Um, and we thought about, at those in those days, they were thinking tens of thousands of people that were killed. Fortunately, but unfortunately, it was only the 20, 2,900 or so. But still, the strength of the experience we're a country, our young people seem to be forgetting history, but look at all these young people out here who are living history right now. That's a great thing. Just to see the, uh, I mean, the patronage and, and all the young volunteers, uh, I think is, is astounding. Uh, just love to see the kids out here. I know some of them were very young when 9-11 happened 10 years ago, so it may not be something that they necessarily remember, but I think uh, their efforts here are, uh, are awesome. It's amazing to me uh, that it's been 10 years. It just it doesn't feel like it. But for each flag that, that I've posted today, I do uh, think about the, the loved ones and the family members and, and those that uh, are grieving today for the loss that, you know, we, I haven't had to experience personally myself, but I can only imagine, uh, the, as you can see by the amount of flags that we still have to post, 3,200, that's an amazing number. And of course that affects several other people uh, in and around the world and in the United States as well. But it's just amazing uh, that this organization was able to put all this together, mostly all volunteer, and uh, it's just, it's going to look great when this is done. It's, it's really actually really powerful. Like I, I wouldn't think that it would be anything like that big of a deal, but once you put the flag in you're like, whoa, you know? I heard it through Youth Initiative at the high school. Um, and it just sounded like the most amazing thing ever. Like, and now that you look around, it's so cool. Like, I think it just looks awesome, and I think it's great that Rockford does something like this. I just, it's so cool, and I knew that, like, it would be, like, the most amazing experience, and, like, that I would remember it forever.